My name is Isaac Lexulis and I'm a lecturer in mechatronics at Manchester Metropolitan University. Oh right, I did like I did like learning when I was at school. Um, mostly was drawn, so I was mostly drawn via to the sort of STEM subjects, but I did like a like a philosophical debate every now and then. Um, I did like obviously to mingle with friends, and I did like uh, sort of doing the activities and going to um, field trips. I like that a lot. Right, I don't have much spare time, but um, I do lots of uh, DIY because um, I have to and I enjoy it too. Um, when I get some extra time, I do like to go ice skating from time to time and/or rollerblading. So that's kind of thing I do. So I teach students, I teach engineering, engineers, um, people that will sort of uh, work in industry and make things, hopefully in the future. Um, I also do research, so I look into cool stuff, sort of to apply sort of technologies that I'm familiar with uh, into different applications and help solve problems. Right, so um, automation, like rob robots, uh, effectively take the uh, burden out of laborious tasks, so difficult things that are manual thus allowing people to be more um, creative, to do more creative things. So by introducing more and more automation into different tasks, I'm hopefully allowing people to do some more interesting things with themselves. I also teach engineers that hopefully will solve uh, many problems that society has sort of in the future, so that's also quite cool. I do like um, its diversity. I de get to learn and do a diverse range of things. Like one day I might be working with a robot like this, or a small sort of miniature factory like that, or another day I might be working with a biologist sort of uh, uh, on uh, whiskers of sea lions, for example, or solving uh, water scarcity issues like in, in, in Africa, for example. So it's very, very diverse and also get, getting to know a diverse range of people as well, like students and staff and, and my colleagues, and exchange ideas with them, I enjoy it very much. Firstly, it's slightly challenging to get into this job because you need to study for many years and um, that takes time and takes effort and takes resilience, uh, which you kind of I was not born with. I had to develop uh, over time, so that was a challenging thing. The other challenging thing is because it's so diverse, is keeping it all together from time to time can be quite challenging. But um, hopefully, uh, managing that. So. I think the first one would be resilience. Uh, doing hard things uh, doesn't mean that um, does mean that actually you have to put effort in, and sometimes you will fail. So you have to keep at it until you um, achieve what you set off to do. And especially when you're doing research, you never know the answers. So you have to come up with the answers, and uh, you don't get them right the first time. Well, at least I don't. So that's that. Um, willingness to learn and open mind. Uh, being, being stuck in your ideas does not really um, come across quite well in our job because you need to get, get input from others and to, to be fine to be wrong from time to time. That's not a bad thing. Um, what else? Uh, be interested in things, be curious, explore things. And be good with people because you have to interact with lots of people. Uh, so you have to develop your people skills in a sense. 